Dumb sports talk. Worldwide. Put some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now let's move up to heavyweights. The heavyweight, really, you know. Anthony Joshua, baby. You know, three three belts. You know, the most famous, one of the most famous fighters on the planet right now with Canelo maybe together. Right? So let's see what he got to say. He got to say something very positive about somebody who I think is one of the most significant fighters on the planet right now. And that would be Alexander Ozek. Or Uzek. Depending on how you say it. Bad dude from the Ukraine. Ukraine bring the pain. The only undisputed fighter on the planet as we speak in the cruiserweight division. Beating everybody on their home turf. Not trying to stay at home all the time in the comfort of the of, of home where the crowd is always on your side. No, he goes right to your backyard, knocks on your door, and calls you out in front of your family and says, look, we're going to fight right here in your backyard. I'm going to beat you up here, and you can buy the judges. You can pick the judges. Been doing it the whole time. Don't make, make, make a list. Just put Doma and Uzek, Alexander Uzek, and you'll find out. Or maybe I'll put a couple of info uh, videos up there so y'all can check them out, right? <clears throat> the dude is incredible, right? And it's without a whole bunch of uh, puncher power. It's just, you know, you know, I'm skillful, right? Skill. People are not doing what he's doing. Won that WBWS tournament everywhere else except home. Awesome dude. So, and I ain't the only one to think it, obviously. Anthony Joshua said, man, listen, you know, this is the perfect boxer. Bottom line. That's what Anthony Joshua says about him. And I figure it's, I mention it because people don't listen to you most of the time, but they'll probably listen to Anthony Joshua. Especially a few his fans. You know, you say somebody else that could fight Anthony Joshua in the future, that's something positive about them, they ain't listening. So Anthony Joshua says it himself. This is a perfect boxer. And it's a reason to believe, because he's beaten all the cruiserweights, right? That's only one division less than than um heavyweight. And one of the cruiserweights that beat the heavyweight that Anthony Joshua uh trains with, but but Bacoli, right? He just got beat by Michael Hunter about three weeks ago. Well, this guy beat him. He beat he beat Michael Hunter, too. Alexander Uze. Right? Another guy Joshua trains with, Joe Joyce, big old juggernaut Joe, right? Uh-uh. This guy beat him too. Right? So he's beating those guys. And did Joshua know what time it is? A cruiserweight, big juggernaut heavyweights will have a problem with this guy. You're gonna have to knock him out. You're probably not gonna outpoint this guy. And it must be pretty hard to knock him out because I'm sure all of these guys were trying. So like I said before, he says, <clears throat> this is a perfect, perfect uh, fighter. And, you know, Bellew is up against it. But he's thinking Tony Bellew, uh, you know, still has a mean left hook and, there's, you know, has a puncher's chance. Of course he does. Tony Bellew is a, a supreme confident right now. You know, listen, everybody's not beating David Hay. That first fight with the uh, uh, ruptured Achilles, Yes, but like I said on several occasions, y'all know I like me some David Hay, but Bayou was in that fight before that Achilles happened, those first six rounds, okay? And the second one, he just walked him down and beat the hell out of him. So you, when you do that, Tony Bayou's from England. He knows David Hay's career. He also knows that David Hay wasn't 100%. He also knows that he doesn't think he would have beat the David Hay 100% David Hay. He knows that, but um, he, he, he keeps his head grounded, his feet in the ground. And that's what's uh, funny about Tony Bellew. And the thing is, uh, you know, he figures out he has a chance against this guy. If Tony Bellew says that, pay attention to that man. Pay attention to that man. It's not like Alexander Ozek is gonna, just going to be a walk in the park, right, against Tony Bellew. Not this confident Tony Bellew. Not this one right here. You probably get a guy that right after Tony Bellew got beat up by uh, Adonis Stevenson. Maybe right then when his confidence was wavering. Not this one. This is going to be a good fight. But I just think Alexander Ozek barring something re remarkable, uh, will his talent will show. And the only reason, you know, I have to believe that is everything he's done up until now. That's why. So his, his promoter, Eglis uh, Klimas, said, listen, <clears throat> you know, he could, he won the tournament. He's the baddest cruiserweight. He could have just said, and, and you know, I, I'm going uh, to sit back and defend my title against one of these guys again. But he don't want to do that. He needs a challenge. And Tony Bellew is a challenge, and he's that bridge to the heavyweight division. You, of course, they got one eye on Anthony Joshua, 
And I told you that Uzek thinks Anthony Joshua, there's no special effects. He's just huge, and he has work ethic, which is the reason why I think Anthony Joshua will, will beat Uzek, because he's huge and got worth ethic. But I think it'll be a good fight. But first, let's see what happens with uh, Alexander Uzek versus Tony Bellew. Guys, tune into that fight. If you don't know who this guy is, start watching him now. He's done magnificent things. That's why he's in everybody's pound for pound list right now. And like I will conclude in this video, he is the only undisputed champion in all of boxing. And guys, that's not easy to do. People that follow boxing just a little bit will know. In every division, there's about five or six champions. And most of the time, they're not wanting to fight. Don't let me start name dropping. I'm not trying to do that in this video. You know, everybody's not trying to fight the other guy. So when someone does that and becomes undisputed, they're special in every way, mentally, physically, right? Special. And they want out to prove something because you have to be out to prove something just to get that done because there are all the stones in your way to not do it. Everybody in boxing, your promoter, your manager, your advisor, sanctioning bodies, they all don't want it to happen. And for you to do it anyway is an awesome thing. Oh, by the way, all hell, Colin Sauerland. So Alexander Uzek is a perfect fighter. That's, that's what your boy Anthony Joshua says. I don't know about perfect, but he's damn good. We can all agree on that. Dumb Sports Talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.